Hey learners, welcome back to Exfoli. Excited for learning. So today we are going to do the project Fruit Collector Debug 2. So let's get started. Now we start by going to our project. Now I rename it, suppose it's name. So hello name and the second page I say name 1. Then play. Then you can see that name 1's basket is moving. It was the second player as they submitted the name next. So it's a second player. And you can see that in the score, the player 2 score is increasing because it's collecting more. It's collecting the. <laughs> you could. The score. I mean the fruits. Now, let's go into the page. Then you can see that player 2 score is 19. Now player 1 is moving. So player 1's. Score is increasing. Okay, so this is the project. It's really easy. Now, let us go into the coding of this. Shut up. Mm, first, we go into the. And then we go to. First, the only thing that we need to do in this project is make the scores okay so this player one player two these scores we have to make them so first it's always in the jss then first we need to make uh we need to initialize like make a thing called like a score in the constructor then this dot score equal to zero so we are initializing the score that it is zero its value is zero then score colon this dot score this is used for updating the score okay so now first um, let us see how does this score work so we go in JSS then now game.js now you can see that once again here there's a score if player.index is not equal to null so if there's some value in the um, player index player index means player you know players so if it's not equal to null um, exclamatory mark and 2 equals 2 means that not equal to okay so if player dot index not equal to null then um, in the same thing so they already made this one called for destroying the fruits right now we are um, going to they did for destroying fru uh, fruits but now we are going to make it score because when a fruit touches the basket then only it will be destroyed right so when a fruit touches the basket, we'll also get score. So you could use the same function. Okay. So player dot score equals to player dot score plus one player dot update. So player dot score equals to player dot score plus one. So the previous value. What was player dot score? So player dot score meaning there was a player class, right? Player dot js inside that we initialized a value to this dot score, right? So if you uh, so player dot score the class of the name and the function in it score equals to player dot score plus one. Now we are increasing it by previous number. So previously it was zero. So zero plus one will be one. The next time it um, the basket touches a fruit, then previous score is one. Then one plus one is two. And player dot update. So we saw that this update function was there in the player class, right? Second. Because there are folders, you can see we had update function right here. Okay, so update where player dot index equals to player dot players player plus this dot index. Then so we have score colon this dot score. So we are updating it. So score equal to this dot score. It's just for updating. Does nothing. Just it's updating. So what is the scored previously which you scored okay so <clears throat> just for updating nothing else then we made the score work but we want to see it on the screen right so for that we use the text function over here text player one colon then a space because we need a space here see there's a sp small space between it now um so this will be exactly copy pasted over here and then the next thing comes so plus all players dot player one dot score so all players the first when it goes in the 
so this is a for loop all players is so plr in all players so first time when it runs it's one so player one dot player one dot score so player one score then we up so whatever player one score is what is it suppose it's two then it will be printed as two and these are the positions same goes to so all players dot player two dot score so um here player one so it goes player one and then player two so player one when it comes so it should increase the score so that was it it's very 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 easy okay so and uh if you haven't seen a video called um so uh data um firebase database project is fire so to prevent this thing to happening there's a small tip that i sh made a video on that please check out that video i'll keep the link of that video in the description box below if you don't know please 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 watch that video because it's really helpful um teachers might have told you but if you forgot it then you can see that video it's very important so i'll just show you now this is the firebase database right so if i haven't changed a thing in this a small connection you need to do that you will see in that video then you uh, then this project would expire on 619 which is a um, few days six days six days later it would expire okay so please check out that video it's really important so that's it so uh, please 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 subscribe and if you have any doubts queries then always comment it i'll be happy to help you thank you bye